so this is the first day in Lithuania that it actually snows. <laughs> I don't know why this happened, but uh, this should have been this kind of weather should have been uh, on Christmas. But that's besides the point. Today, guys, I want to talk about when do you actually know that you're healed from no pornography use? That means when you're doing no fab. And uh, people in the nofap community often preach about doing 90 days as this amount of days will fully reboot your brain and recover it from porn but when do you actually know that you're healed from no pornography use uh, and i think it depends on the person and on the reason that person started doing nofap in the first place but 90 days is just the average number and it may happen sooner or it may happen later From my experience, I had a porn-induced erectile dysfunction that I discovered I had back with my first, now ex, girlfriend. After she left me, I didn't have any real sexual experiences with any girls for about 8 months or so. During that time, I was doing nofap, but I wasn't clean for 8 months. I relapsed now and again. I had a 56 day streak, I had 2 week streaks, 1 month streaks and so on. But once I got into another relationship and it came time for having sex, I realized I was healed. I couldn't maintain an erection for the whole time during sex. After doing nofap for this long, even though sometimes relapsing, I realized how real life sex works and my brain accepted the natural mode of how things are supposed to be. Real life sex is about the touch and the feel and when you compare it with masturbating to porn, you can clearly see how unnatural it is and why I got ED from it. When you are watching porn, you're not experiencing the touch and the feel of a real life sex experience. You're only admiring what you see with your eyes and most of the time what you see with your eyes are big ass and big boobs fake porn stars that never resemble everyday natural women. Also, you're not experiencing touch and in this case, I'm talking about touching the other person. You're only touching yourself, which essentially just numbs you of feeling natural sexual feelings towards another person. I would highly recommend you to watch Why I Stopped Watching Porn by Rand Gabrielli. In this TED talk, Rand very accurately compares pornography to natural sex and how watching porn is nowhere near close to a real life sexual experience. Porn cameras have no interest in capturing any normal sensual activities such as petting, caressing, making out, touching, hugging, kissing. No. What porn cameras are into is the penetration. Of course, maybe you're doing nofap for other different reasons, like gaining more focus, confidence, social skills, getting rid of anxiety or depression, or some other reason. If you believe that you have some negative habits or traits from watching pornography and you're doing nofap, the only way you will get rid of them is not by aiming for a specific number on a calendar, although that's a good start, but by rewiring your brain and changing your mentality. When you get turned on by a woman touching you and not only by you looking at her, you are healed or you are in the process of healing. When you realize that you will do nofab your whole life and it doesn't matter how many times you relapse, you still know that you will never give up on this challenge, you are healed. Don't get me wrong, I believe that setting a day counter, for example 90 days, to motivate yourself to reach that date is good. I myself am aiming for 90 days still, but it's more about how you start to feel while doing nofab how you grow physically and mentally as a person. If you reach 90 days, that doesn't mean all your life problems will be solved, just because you hit this goal. I always preach that nofap is the key reason of why I started living a more meaningful life and why in the two years that I did it, I grew a lot as a person. But nofap is more like a magnet. When you do it longer and longer, you keep attracting other healthy habits into your life. Doing nofap is really simple, but it's also very difficult. It's just about not touching yourself, but there's a lot more that goes into doing nofap and constantly being in a battle with your urges. Porn is not like other bad habits. You will always have sexual desires, that's just a part of being human. But it is important where you decide to release that build up sexual energy. And it is important that you embrace your natural sexual attraction to women by touch or real life relationships as opposed to just interacting with them through a computer screen. And it is important when you relapse to not give up and go again. When you realize what is important in your nofap journey, that's when you're healed. Thank you for watching.